was falling asleep. There's a little kid screaming. So I ran to the to the side of the house. Neighbors rushed to save a child trapped in a basement apartment. Can I see your foot? It was 3.30 Saturday morning when a 12-year-old boy screamed for his life from behind caged bars in a locked door in the basement of this building. I went through the back and like I just tried to like open the doors. Everything was like locked, so um, I just kept banging on the door and finally the man came out and the little boy came out. Amy Khan, a young mother who lives across the street, heard frantic cries and ran to help. She says there was smoke in what appeared to be fire. He just said he put a plug in in the outlet. Khan banged on the door many times. The boy's caretaker, Manuel Varela, the man you see here in this mugshot, at first refused to open the door for her. But Khan refused to leave until she saw that the boy was safe. What she observed next, she says, it's just really weird. It was disturbing. I mean, why are you going to find a little kid, like, naked? And the dad immediately told him to take a shower, so he took a shower, and it was just weird about that. Yeah. By day, you can see the dilapidated conditions in which the boy he was supposed to be the maintenance guy and his caretaker lived. A resident of the apartment building walked us into the basement unit where Varela and the boy lived. Terrible to tell you that. The boy's bedroom door was locked from the outside. Uh, it's supposed to be a house. A neighbor who lives next door says this building was never meant to be cut up into apartments. And it's separated to about uh, uh, five, six, seven apartments. Out back, sad reminders that a child lived here, a notebook with his name on it, assorted toys, and telltale signs of a 12-year-old boy whose life went on in the dark, locked in a basement. His guardian angel on this night, a heroin neighbor who followed her gut instincts. Basically, it was just a little kid. Alex Shrek, ABC7.